Good evening and welcome to the Cardinal Sports Network's presentation of volleyball at Trinity Valley Community College. We are coming to you live from Leon Spencer Court at Cardinal Gym on the campus of TVCC in Athens, Texas. I am Benny Rogers, the Sports Information Officer here at the college, and I'll be joined tonight by Jason Larson, the Public Information Officer here at the college. And this is really a special night, folks, and we're glad you've joined us as it's special and historic on so many fronts. Number one, this is the first ever webcast of volleyball by the Cardinal Sports Network now in our seventh year. And also, the Lady Cardinals coming to tonight's game with their highest ranking ever. They are currently ranked number 12. They're 14 and one on the season. They won their first 14 games with the best start in school history. Last year, they did crack the top 20 for the first time, coming in at number 19 in the final poll. But they're off to a historic start, the best start in school history. And tonight, they play an opponent that's ranked higher than them, the Tyler Apache Ladies, coming to tonight's game with a 12 and one record and they are ranked number four. The Apache Ladies have won seven straight coming into tonight's game, while the Lady Cardinals dropped their last outing in the finals of the NCTC tournament against Navarro, falling three to zero. Now I'll bring in Jason Larson, and Jason, you can just feel the excitement in the air tonight. As I also should mention, this is the first home game for the Lady Cardinals, and they're halfway into their season. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of excitement, Benny. You can definitely kind of feel it, certainly here in the gym, and you've been able to feel it around campus, too, as, as we kind of come to this point for the first webcast, first home game. Uh, you know, the Lady Cards have earned it. They've had a great start to the season. This is kind of as you build a program, what you build up to, and for this first webcast, for this first home game, you really couldn't ask for a better matchup when you've got a team like the Lady Cards that are on the rise and a team like Tyler that has a, is a little more established. They've got the ranking to prove that right now, but what a great matchup to start off with, and it looks like we're going to have a nice crowd to see it. We are going to have a nice crowd. It's starting to fill in, and you can hear the Cardinal resume maybe in the background occasionally, and there's going to be a lot of excitement in the air tonight. Lady Cardinals, as I mentioned, are 14-1 and on the season, 1-0 and in conference. Tyler, 12-1, and 1-0 and in conference. This is the uh, seventh meeting, excuse me, this is the eighth meeting between these two uh, teams and the, uh, Tyler holds a 6-1 edge so far and this is the fifth year of the Lady Cardinal volleyball program. Of course, it's always been coached by Tasha Spain in her fifth year, obviously, and Tyler is coached by Rhonda Shirley, who is also in her fifth uh, season at TJC. We're about a minute and a half away from game time here at Cardinal Gym and we're so glad that you joined us tonight for this special night and uh, the crowds filling in and this is great implications for the early part of the conference race because as we mentioned both teams are 1-0 and and both teams are trying to protect national rankings so I mean it couldn't be a better scenario for the first home game of the season and for our first webcast. Yeah, no doubt about it, Benny. And, you know, it's just a, such a huge opportunity for the Lady Cards. You know, they ripped off those 14 wins to start the season. And, uh, boy, a, a win right here would be big for a lot of reasons, It'd make you 2-0 in the conference. And it also would definitely say something as far as those national rankings go, which really don't mean a whole lot right now, but uh, they can certainly mean something later. Absolutely. The Lady Cardinals uh, returned, well, they really returned four sophomores from last year's 21 and 15 team that set school records for wins, made the regional tournament for a second straight year, made school history by winning their first ever regional tournament game. But they've had two transfers in, Jason, uh, Hannah, Hannah Jackson and uh, Crystal Embry from Blinn College, which won the national championship last year. So that has helped boast to the Lady Cardinals sophomore attack. Of course, the sophomores are led by Emily Ginchy who last year was the libero of the year in the region. Yeah, they definitely got a lot of experience, and I think with that comes some confidence, and with that's going to come some energy. And obviously, you know, if you know anything about volleyball, that energy is a big deal. You've got to keep that energy high and going, and, and certainly some of those girls definitely have that high energy that they're keeping flowing through the team. Absolutely, and the crowd continues to file in here, and I think by the time we get started and get underway, it's going to be a really sizable crowd here at uh, Cardinal Gym, as you'll be able to see, obviously, on your screen, as both teams are now out on the middle of the floor, We'll have the introduction of the players, and we'll also have the playing of the uh, national anthem. So we'll let you enjoy some of the pregame sights and sounds at this point.
not be tolerated and are grounds for removal That is the, the voice facility. of Harold Jones, the TDCC PA announcer here at Cardinal Jim. Does a great this job time, in all the sports that he serves as public address announcer. And now we will pause for the playing of the national anthem. Now we'll have the introduction of the players from both teams. So you'll get a chance to see the players that you'll be watching tonight in this Region 14 uh, volleyball contest, the first ever to be webcast by the Cardinal Sports Network, now in our seventh year. Number six, Holland Ferguson. Tyler has a young team with only four sophomores on Number the squad. Number 11, Nia Johnson. Number 12, Lacia Robinson. Number 14, Sydney Skelton. Number 19, Alexandra Gligorich. And now for the starters. From Wichita Falls, number four, Morgan Lewis. From Longview, Texas, number five, Emily Shelton. <laughs> Captain from Overton, Texas, number seven, Abby Mackey. <laughs> from Houston, Texas, number nine, Bridget Watterson. <laughs> from Halton, Halton City, number 13, Ariel Edwards. At Libero from Columbia, number 17, Aline Acuna. And from Valley Center, Kansas, number 20, Perrin Spears. Head coach of the Lady Apaches in her fifth season, Miss Rhonda Shirley. Assistant coach Brandy Hood, student assistant Isaac Bridges. Into that Rhonda Shirley's in her fifth season at Tyler and Junior College, the same as Lady Tasha Spain here at Trinity Valley. From Carthage, Texas, number five, Mackenzie Tate. From Crandall, number six, Summer Lee. From Brownsville, number seven, Erica Lopez. From Brazil, number eight, Bruna Santos. From Scroggins, number 11, Alyssa Arrington. From Van, number 14, Morgan Wilkerson. From Brazil, number 15, Priscilla Castro. And from Maybank, number 24, Michaela Adams. And now for your starters. From Emory, number one, Alexis Bongiorno. From Cleveland, Texas, number two, Hannah Jackson. From Bryan, Texas, number four, Crystal Henry. From France, at Libero, number nine, Amelie Gincy. From Wichita Falls, and your captain, number 10, Brittany Griffin. From Arlington, Texas, number 12, Hannah Nicholas. And from Houston, Texas, number 13, 
Ashley Caldwell. Head coach of the Lady Cards. And now we are season. set for this it's Region 14 fan. contest here Assistant at Leon Spencer Court at Cardinal Gym. We mentioned that the Lady Cardinals are coached by Tasha Adrian Spain in her Caldwell. fifth year. She is assisted by Lisa McAllister, who's in her third year, and a student assistant is Sarah Cruz, who many of you will, may remember played for the Lady Cardinals the last two seasons, is now a student assistant coach on Coach uh, Spain's squad. Lisa McAllister is a familiar name to you as well. A few years ago, she played on Ashley Johnson's softball squad here at the college for, for two years before moving on to Sam Houston State and joining their national championship uh, bowling team, Jason. That's a sport that you could get into, I believe. I can get, I can do that. It, it has the required amount of running that I'm used to. We mentioned the Lady Cardinal uh, softball team. They opened their fall season today with a doubleheader at home at Kane Park against uh, Cisco. The Lady Cardinals scored a 4-2 win in the first game, coming up with two runs in the bottom of the sixth. And in the second game, they won by a count of 8-0 to get their fall season off to a 2-0 start. We also mentioned it's just a great start for uh, all sports teams so far because the Cardinal football team, of course, is 2-0, leading the nation in scoring, ranked number three nationally, have Cisco at home Saturday night at 7 p.m. in their third conference game, Jason, which is unusual that you open the season with three, well, they open actually with four straight conference games before they get into non-conference play, but the Cardinals have got two big ones behind them, and now we're set to go here at Leon Spencer Court at Cardinal Gym. And speaking of such, I see Coach Spencer seated across the way on the very front row. Must be pretty neat to come to an arena that the, the court is named after you. I'll never know, but I bet it is. <laughs> There's a nice crowd here, Benny. It's, it's a really good crowd that's yeah, here it's tonight. Yeah, it is filled in. It's not capacity, but it is a nice crowd. Lady Cardinals will be serving first, and that'll be Hannah Jackson, who transferred in from Blinn College. She's from Tarkington High School in Cleveland, Texas, a 5'1 sophomore. And we are underway. The first point goes to the Lady Cardinals, and that's the kind of start you want to get off to. Jackson again at the service line. A nice block by Crystal Embray and Brittany Griffith. They double team there to get the block and get the point for the uh, Lady Cardinals. Brittany Griffith is coming off a monster game in last week's five, uh, five set win over Navarra College. Jackson again with the serve. And credit that time to the uh, Apache ladies, number nine, Grisha Watterson at the big hit. Checking in for the Apache ladies will be number six, Holland Ferguson. Benny, I think you're going to see a lot of strong net play in this game. And when you look at the conference stats, the Lady Cards are first, second, or third in a lot of categories. As a matter of fact, first, second, or third in 15 of the 22 statistical categories, and a lot of that's at the net. I don't think the, the scoreboard is right at the, in the arena. Is it not two to one now in favor of the Lady Cards? Yes, and I think they're, they're going to get that sorted okay. out right now. Now we're right. Two to one Lady Cardinals and TJC at the service line. Number six serving, Ferguson. Gets hit by Bajorno. And there's another big block by Crystal Embry, number four, another transfer from Blinn College. And one thing I've noticed in the games I've seen from the Lady Cardinals so far this year, Jason, is they've got really strong net play where it's been a weakness maybe in each of the last four seasons. But this year, that's not the case. Yeah, well, Crystal's second on the team right now with 27 total blocks, and, and that's what we're talking about. They're real strong right up there at the net. Now, Crystal at the service line. And nice job by the Apache ladies of pitching the uh, – Lady Cardinals all drawn into the net and just kind of finessing a shot over the net and getting the point to stay close at three to two as the crowd continues to fill in. I mean, I think we're gonna be pretty well packed by the time we get deeper into this contest. Of course, admission is free at Region 14 Volleyball here at Cardinal Gym. And uh, we have great student turnout, great support here. Now we've had a question on that point. Apologize, I didn't catch exactly what the conversation was about. 
I thought maybe initially it was about a rotation, and it appears now maybe that I didn't see a lift called, but could I can be rotation, like you said, Jason, because the two officials are. Uh, that's going to go the Lady Cardinals' way. So Crystal will remain at the service line. The Lady Cardinals will go up by a 4-1 count. Of course, every point adds up here as we have rally, rally scoring that was changed several years ago. In the old days, you played the best of your matches with the 15 points, but you could only score when you serve. And trust me, Jason, that being an old-timer, it took forever to play those. Now then, there's a point on every serve. I'm okay with that. Ball is long, and the point will go to the Lady Cardinals, who are just getting off to a dream start here. Definitely want to get off to a fast start and feed off of that crowd's energy right away. Bongiorno with the set. Nicholas with the big hit returned by the uh, Apache ladies. Bongiorno with the set, and she's going to go over the center court stripe, and the point will go to the Apache ladies, and they will stop the Lady Cardinals run at 5-1. to one. It's a nice Tyler crowd here tonight, too, for all our – anybody that may be looking on from Tyler, your, your folks have turned out really good tonight as well. Going to call the Lady Cardinals into the net. Point's going to go to the Apache ladies. They were trailing five to one. Now it is five three. Acuna at the service line. Point's going to go to the Apache ladies. who are on a, on a little roll here now. Lady Cardinal five one lead is evaporated to a one point lead five four. Nice job that time by Morgan Lewis at the net. Kind of read the Lady Cardinal defense and just dinked one back over. Yeah, and I, I believe I looked over and, and Coach Spain had said to her girls, settle down a little bit, settle down. And just a few errors that are going to get ironed out here, but it's definitely let Tyler get back into the game. Big hit by that time by Abby Mackey, a captain of the Apache ladies, 5'9", Sophomore from nearby Overton, Texas, there near the Tyler. Apache ladies with their first lead, and that serve is long. And just like that, it's 6-6. Six, six. That's the thing about volleyball. It's such a game of runs. I know that's so cliche, but, you know, just like that, you can stop your own momentum, and then the lady cards can, can go. And, uh, you know, you just got to keep that energy going and cut down on the mistakes as the match grows on. Checking into the game for the uh, Lady Cardinals, number 14, Morgan Wilkerson out of Van, Texas, a freshman. And number six, Summer Lee out of Crandall, Texas, also a freshman. At the service line is Wilkerson. Had a really good service game. I saw them play up in the tournament at Brookhaven to start the season. There was, she had a really good service game there in that second game that the uh, Lady Cardinals won to go on their way to a 14-game uh, winning streak. And nice job by the Apache ladies getting the Lady Cardinals out of position. Tyler's not as big as I've seen some Tyler teams in the past, Jason. It doesn't seem, but they're certainly not playing with a large, a big lineup on the floor right now. But they do have great quickness, and they're doing a great job of setting the ball. Wilkerson, stoppage in action. I think he got a little quick, little quick with the serve. Yeah. Right? <laughs> One of the officials is still at the scorer's table here, so. As Sidney Skelton serving for the Apache ladies. Now we're underway. Jackson with the dig. Sets it up. Summer Lee. Summer Lee with the hit. Gets the winner off the TJC player. Nice placement on that kill by Summer. We should mention that last year the Apache ladies swept the Lady Cardinals, Jason, but both both uh, matches went to five sets, and they were just great matches. Having some more questions at the scores table. 
get nose cleaned up. At the service line for the Lady Cardinals is going to be Brittany Griffith, a 6'1 sophomore out of Archer City. Good hard serve against the Apache ladies out of position. They do a great job of salvaging the play. Summer Lee with a little dink. Good job by Wilkerson. No team strong at the net. Good block. Great block that time by Morgan Lewis to give the point to the Apache ladies. The Apache ladies take an 8-7 lead. We're back and forth in this one. The Lady Cardinals, if you're just joining us, jumped out to a 5-1 lead, and now we're at 8-7. This match started at 7.08, and we're at 7.17. We're 11 minutes into the match, to the set, I should say. Good job of Griffith of digging out the serve. Wilkerson with the set. Patchy ladies in the net, so the point will go to the Lady Cardinals. Bruna Santos, number eight, a 5'10 freshman from Brazil. She's really been a solid player for the Lady Cardinals the first 15 games into the season, 15 matches into the season. Point's gonna go to the uh, Lady Cardinals. Amelia Gincy at the free throw line. She's in her third year at the college. She had a very unfortunate knee injury like the first game of her freshman year two years ago, three years ago now, and she received her medical red shirt. Coach Tasha Spain thought she would leave after last year, but the right opportunity did present itself, so she, Amelia decided to come back, and now she's the team leader on this team as a third-year sophomore. We're tied at 9-9 nine to nine at the service line. It's Lewis for the Apache ladies. Great job of getting down low, Griffith of digging out the serve. Nice job in the back row by Griffith. Santos gets the ball over for the Lady Cardinals. Gensley with the dig. Santos with the big hit, and she gets it in. Santos found a nice hole there at the back of the court there, Benny, and took advantage of it. Great eye. One thing I've noticed about her, Jason, in the games that I've seen, she's got great court savvy. She sees the other end of the floor even while she knows what's going on on the Lady Cardinal end, and she can pick those spots. That's not a fluke right there. I've seen that too many times already this season. Alexis Pagiorno from nearby Emory went to Reigns High School, a 5'5 sophomore at the service line. She was a key player for the Lady Cardinals last year as a freshman in their 21-15 season. Gets the serve over. Big hit. Ariel Edwards for the Apache ladies. And we're back to 10-10, Jason. This one looks like it's just going to be back and forth, back yeah. and forth. Evenly matched teams. Lady Carters are unable to sustain the momentum of the 5-1 start they got off to. To Tyler's credit, the Apache ladies have fought back. Griffith, Bongiorno, Nicholas with a little dink, saved by Gintzi. Santos, great block. Regia Watterson, number nine, gives the Apaches the lead once again. Great job by Gintzi getting the serve back up. Big hit by the Apache ladies. Now this, I think this is their biggest lead of the game at 12-10, a two-point lead for the uh, Apache ladies. It's kind of a fortunate hit there, just nicked the net and set the defense off just a little bit. Shelton with the serve, might have been going long. Lady Cardinals didn't take a chance. Apache ladies are doing a great job at the net, setting each other up, and that one's out. It will sail long, and the point will go to the Lady Cardinals. 
Hannah Jackson's going to check back into the contest for the Lady Cardinals, number two. She's checking in for Bruna Santos. Got a little moisture on the floor. They're going to do a little housekeeping here. Definitely an intense battle here early, Benny, and that's that's okay. You know, the Lady Cards, are they've played some games, and, and the more big games like this they can play, the better they're going to be prepared for later on in the season. It's definitely been a good one so far. So far, you're right. Jackson with the serve. Big hit. Boy, I tell you, Jason, when Waterson gets her full body into that, when she take, makes that little sideway motion, she gets her full force behind it. She's a big hitter. Well, you mentioned this. There, there are a lot of youth on this Tyler team, but Waterson and uh, Edwards both are sophomores, and they've definitely got firepower. And you, and you can tell they've got the experience factor out there on the floor. You're right. 13-11 Apaches. Their biggest lead has been two. But Giorno with the set. Embry with the hit. Returned by the uh, Apache ladies. Giorno with another set. Nicholas with the hit. There she is again. Watterson, just a, just a tremendous player there for the Apache ladies who have now taken their biggest lead of the match at 14 to 11. We mentioned the Lady Cardinals are one and six against Tyler. Well, I'm sorry, yeah. one, and, one and seven against Tyler. The only win was during the 2011 season, which was the second year of Lady Cardinal Volleyball. Embry back at the uh, service line. And I, I'm just so impressed with uh, Watterson. She does a great job. You just set her up, you're gonna get a perc high percentage of winning those points. Definitely a confident player, Benny. Super athletic and very confident. Giorno with the set, not a not a good set there. Didn't get enough height on it, didn't get under it just enough. And we have a timeout. Tasha Spain's going to take a timeout. We're going to stop the Tyler momentum with the Apache ladies leading by a count of 16 to 12. Got a huge crowd in here. I'm sure our, our cameras at some point will pan the, pan the crowd and let you get a see that it's, it's filled up on the side across from us pretty much. I mean, it really has, and this side, the side that we're seated on over here behind the scores table is also filled in pretty good. And we do have a large number of uh, Apache Lady fans joining us tonight. Well, a lot of lot of local fans here on this Tyler side as well. So good, strong local support for the Lady Cards here. And you can see right there, Tasha Spain just kind of going over the game plan here. They're going to get it figured out. This is a good good team here. You're playing a very good team, obviously, number four team in the country, and great opportunity here. The Lady Cards just got to settle down just a little bit and play the kind of ball they've been playing so far. Watterson has been the really been the star so far for the Apache Ladies. Just had big hit after big hit. Very powerful player. Lady Cardinals have been very good at playing a power game, but not so much tonight just yet. They're just a little bit off, in my opinion, on their sets. They're just not quite really crisp right yet. And that one sails long off the Apache Ladies. The Apache Ladies are trying to say it was tipped by the Lady Cardinals, but there's been no such call, so the point will go to the uh, Lady Cardinals as Wilkerson 14 and Lee 6 check back into the game. Playing across the front there is for the Lady Cardinals are Lee, number 13, Ashton Caldwell, a big player for the big time player for the uh, Lady Cardinals along with uh, Brittany Griffiths. They're going to patrol things at the net with this lineup that the uh, Lady Cardinals have on the floor. Oh, a great job by Hannah Jackson of saving that shot. Oh, boy. But that ends it. The point, Morgan Lewis with a big, big hit for the Apache ladies. We mentioned the Apache ladies don't really have a lot of size, Jason, before they make it for it with their leaping ability at the net. They, yeah, they really do have a, a couple of players that really, really can bound. This game's in danger of slipping away from the Lady Cardinals. It's 17 to 13. Not an insurmountable lead, but you got to be careful here and not let Tyler stretch this thing out. 
Yeah, the Lady Cardinals are just not sharp on the sets tonight like I've seen them most of the season so far. Oh, great job of getting it back across by Wilkerson. Wilkerson with the set. Griffin with a big hit blocked by the Apache ladies. But it goes out of bounds. So that's a fortunate break for the Lady Cardinals. Get back within three. Hey, we'll take it. Griffith will be at the service line for the uh, Lady Cardinals. Santos, Lee, and Caldwell will patrol the net for the Lady Cardinals. Man, I am just so impressed with Tyler's power game at this point. That was Morgan Lewis there with the winner. Well, they're just been there always on the attack, and that's the Lady Cards are going to have to just really stay aware because they are always looking to attack. They are, and their their sets have been have been better than the Lady Cardinals to this point. The Lady Cardinals are just a little bit off and not in sync on their sets just yet. Which are, they're playing on the defensive a lot too right now. Griffith with the save, Santos. Oh. Lewis is now dominating the show for the Apache ladies who are up 18 to 14. Lady Cardinals have got to settle themselves. Great dig by Griffith. Santos with a big hit. Sails out of bounds, and the point will go to the Apache ladies. I see the Cardinal football team is here tonight. Lady Cardinal basketball, Cardinal basketball, Lady Cardinal softball, cheerleaders, some Cardettes are here. Everyone's supporting the Lady Cardinals as they do each other. Well, Lady Cardinals just on the defensive right now. They're really not. They're not really attacking. And I think you got to give Tyler some credit too. They're really with their service game, putting some really finely placed balls in some tough spots, and that's just throwing the defense off right off the bat. So. There you go. That's what we've seen of Ashton Caldwell all season. That was a perfect set there, and she got her full force behind that one and got the winner. That's the kind of game that we've seen the Lady Cardinals play in the first 15 games that we haven't seen here tonight with any consistency. But that's a great thing about volleyball. It can turn around real quick. In a second. Hensie with the serve. Man, when Tyler's able to set, set each other up like that, they're, they're, they're getting a high percentage of winners, Jason. 22 to 15 here in the... Uh, First set, of course, is the first one to 25 wins the set. Got to win by two. Best of five overall. Points going to go to the Lady Cardinals as Alexis Bongiorno and Hannah Nicholas are going to check back into the game for the Lady Cardinals. 22-16. Boy, the Lady Cardinals really need to press the issue right here, Jason, because you got the Apache ladies within three of pulling out a win in the first set. Apache ladies are kind of flat-footed that time, and it cost them the point. It keeps hope alive for the uh, uh, Lady Cardinals as Tyler's going to call a timeout. Coach uh, Shirley wants to thwart the Lady Cardinal momentum she might feel that they're gaining. Yeah, maybe a, a good time for a timeout for Tyler because I think Trinity Valley is starting to feel that a little bit and certainly have the right person at the line right now. Bongiorno leads the Lady Cards with 18 service aces so we don't see a lot of those but uh, if you're looking for points fast she's definitely somebody you'd like to have back there serving it over the lady cardinals have done a really good job this year in that 14 game winning streak they had anytime they 
they dropped the first set, they were able to right the ship and come back and uh, pull out the victory. So not that this first was over with yet, I'm just saying that they do have a history this year of overcoming early setbacks in matches. Bongiorno at the service line for the Lady Cardinals. That's going to put the Apache ladies within two of that magic 25 that you need to put a set in the books. Tyler comes into the tonight's match having won seven straight, 12 and one on the season, one and oh in conference. And that's just an unforced error there. That's a serve into the net. That's just something you can't get back and you can't defend. So the Lady Cardinals still alive. Hannah Jackson will be at the service line because she started the game at the service line for the uh, Lady Cardinals. It's good to have the Cardinal Regiment on hand tonight too. They'll entertain between sets. And that was just a little bit wide that time by Edwards. So the Lady Cardinals creep just a little bit closer, Jason. Could make it interesting if they could pick up a couple of more points here. Jackson serves it over for the Lady Cardinals. Great job of digging by Bajorno. Nichols with a cross court shot. Oh man. Great job by Edwards of reading the defense while she was in the air. You could just see her take a look when she was going up after the ball and just dinked it over the net. Yeah, she was elevating Benny. Obviously, that hole that where she just put the ball had started to open up and it just moved so fast, there's not a whole lot you can do. We are at set point, 24 19, Tyler. And that's going to wrap up the first set with the Apache ladies taking a 25 to 19 victory to go up 1-0 in a, in a set that lasted 25 minutes to the, to the moment. Teams will change into the court as we prepare for the second set and we will let you enjoy the sounds of the Cardinal Regiment. And while we've got a break here in between the sets, let's let you meet the Lady Cardinals. Hi, my name is Alexis Bongiorno. I'm a sophomore from Emory, Texas, and I'm a setter. Hi, I'm Hannah Jackson. I'm a sophomore from Cleveland, Texas, and I'm a libero. Hi, my name is Crystal Hembry. I'm a sophomore from Spring, Texas, middle blocker. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Tate. I'm a freshman from Carthage, Texas, and I'm a DS. My name is Summer Lee. I'm from Crandall, Texas, and I'm an outside hitter. <laughs> Hi, my name is Erica Lopez. I'm from Bronzeville, Texas, and I'm an outside hitter. My name is Bruna Bárbara. I'm from Curitiba, Brazil. I'm freshman and I'm a setter. My name is Emily Gensi. I'm from France, Cannes. I'm a sophomore and I play libero. Hi, I'm Brittany Griffith. I'm from Archer City and I'm an outside. I'm Melissa Oranger from Mount Vernon, Texas. I'm a freshman and an outside hitter. Hi, I'm Hannah Nicholas. I am a freshman from Arlington, Texas, and I'm a right side. 
I'm Ashlyn Caldwell. I'm a sophomore from Houston, Texas, and I'm a middle blocker. Hi, my name is Morgan Wilkerson. I'm from Van, Texas, and I'm a setter. Hi, my name is Priscila Castro. I'm from Belo Horizonte, Brazil. I'm a freshman, and I'm outside hater. I'm Michaela Adams. I'm a freshman from Maybank, Texas, and I play right side. We're back to action here in the second set. Patchy ladies serve. Brittany Griffin with a big hit. Nice block that time for the Apache ladies. And that one's going to sail wide off of Griffith. So the first point of the second set, Jason's going to go to the Apache ladies. Well, Benny, that was just the fourth time that the Lady Cards have, have lost that opening set. And they come back and, and won two of the next three So uh, of those matches. So let's see if they can do that here. Embry with a big hit, but it's going to sail out of bounds. And it's going to be 2-0 TJC to start the uh, – Second set in the first set, if you're just now joining us, the uh, Lady Cardinals jumped off to a 5-1 lead and eventually lost 25-19. And Bongiorno was going to catch the net when she, on that set. Kind of like you said earlier, Benny, the Lady Cards just look like they're just a little, just a hair off right now, and it's hurting them. So they just got to kind of to right the ship. And they're just, they're, they're, their sets are just off. And Tasha has seen enough. Tasha Spain has seen enough already. She's calling a timeout early into this set. She's not going to let this one get out of hand. And you can see that she's uh, getting her point across. And I'm sure it has a lot to do with the way the Lady Cardinals are, I should say, not so they setting the ball or not setting the ball, Jason. Yeah, you know, just takes a little bit of a refocus here, and she's, she's tried with a couple of these timeouts to get them in that position. So now it's time for them to respond. You know, this is where you've got you've to make that in-game adjustment and just kind of buckle down. And here's crazy as it is, Jason. This is the uh, 16th game of the season, the first one at home. This is the first time these freshmen have been on this floor in a, in a game. Yeah, and, and this is a pretty rowdy environment too, which is a great thing. We want that, you know. But, uh, but they've the, got to make the adjustment and now the and take and, it. And the crowd, I'm sorry, the crowd's staying into the game, too. Yeah, definitely. So here we go. Let's see if the Lady Cardinals can right the ship early on, down 4-0, as Tyler did in that first set when they got down 5-1. Thank you for all joining us tonight on the uh, Cardinal Sports Network. I know we have a bunch of Lady Cardinal players, family, and friends that are watching back home in their hometowns that otherwise wouldn't get a chance to see these young ladies play. We would also like to welcome any of our viewers that are fans of the Apache ladies. I know some of the folks couldn't make it over tonight, and they're watching their favorite team play here on the Cardinal Sports Network. 5-0 Tyler. That one sails out of bounds off of the Lady Cardinals, and boy, you just don't want a case of panic to set in now, Jason, because it get a lot uglier than it already is. Patch the Lady Cardinals, of course, will hang in there. Got to find something, get something positive to happen. And they're just a little flat right now. Yeah, they are. Just a little yeah. flat. And I saw Tasha look at assistant coaches Lisa McAllister and Sarah Cruz, and I, just reading her body language, it was like, are you believing this? What are you going to do? Yeah. Well, Tasha's calling another timeout, and this one, I don't think she'll be exchanging Valentine's with the ladies here. They really look, they look a little bit rattled. It's not that they can't pull out of it, but right now they trail by a score of eight to zero here in the second set. You, you dig yourself such a hole, Jason, if you drop the first two sets, because then you've got to, you got to win, win out. And against the number four team in the nation, that's not something that you want to do on a regular basis. Yeah, no doubt about it. Here's what I like though about what just happened, Benny. Coach Spain went into that huddle. She talked to him very briefly, and she went and sat down. Now she's letting the players try to figure out what's going on here, and and that's a good thing. I mean, because they're the ones that are out there, and they're kind of in the heat of the battle. So they're going to have to figure out what's going on because uh, you know the coaching is there. Now they've just got to kind of get get their head right and get focused on what's happening right now, and kind of forget about 
what's what's gone on before now. You're down eight nothing, so you really got to start making a move here. And I saw Sarah Cruz take control of that huddle there at the end, Jason. Of course, uh, she's a uh, student assistant this year, but she played the last two years. She's played with some of these ladies, and she can talk their language and make them understand what's going on. Big hit by Griffith. Actually, ladies, save it. And again, that goes off of uh, Hannah Jackson along the back line and this 9-0 now by the Apache ladies. And boy, this is just gonna, you don't wanna deflate the crowd that you got here behind you. So the Lady Cardinals really need to find a way to get some momentum. Alisa Oranger is gonna check into the game for the uh, Lady Cardinals, a 5'10 freshman out of Mount Vernon High School, home of Dandy Don Meredith. Well, it's just not going well for the Lady Cardinals right now. That's just the best you can say about it, Jason. I mean, you, if you're watching, you can see what's going on. If they're, they're really struggling right now. 11-0 Apache Ladies. Tough deal. <laughs> well, sometimes it just gets just a snowballing on you and you can't do anything to get out of it, Jason. I yeah, mean. yeah, I mean, and you know, they're, they're a lot better team than they're looking like right now. They're just, they're just kind of caught in that landslide, so. Now they got a break there in the fact that the uh, Apache ladies uh, had a long serve after taking a 12-0, 12-0 lead. I'd have, I'd have bet you all the money in the world you'd never seen that again with this Lady Cardinal team as well as they played so far this season. And another back-to-back -back points now from the Lady Cardinals, so that salvages a little momentum. Maybe they can get a, get a bit of a run going here. Great solo block there by Hannah Nicholas, Benny. Hannah's out of Arlington Martin High School. And a great block by Nicholas again. Now you can sense that momentum switching back just a little bit. The problem is you dug yourself such a hole early on. Yeah. But you got to you got to get something positive to happen because yeah. you got three more sets to go. Yeah. Nice job of the Apache ladies of cutting into the Lady Cardinal momentum. You can do a little bit of chipping away. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's, it's got to start somewhere, and you're not going to get them all at once. So We mentioned that the Apache ladies are 1-0 in conference. They defeated Lamar State in their conference opener. I think that was a 3-0 count. Lady Cardinals defeated Navarro last Wednesday night, 3-2 over in Corsicana. Huge hit. Abby Mackey, the captain of the team. 14-3. Patchy ladies. Just, just the, what you're seeing. Again, it, you're, they're a much better team than what you're seeing. Just a lot of fundamental breakdown right now, and it's and it. Forgive me if I'm, I'm overstepping my bounds. Just mental, you know. I mean, just just mental stuff. They're they're a lot better than this. They're just kind of in a bog right now. That's a great description of what's happening. Nicholas with the kill, returned by the uh, Apache ladies. Great block by Caldwell. Ashton Caldwell, a 6'2 sophomore out of Cypress Creek High School. And for them to get back in it, Benny, obviously you're going to have to see a lot from Caldwell, a lot from Brittany Griffith. You know, you've, you've got your, your players here that are the kills leaders for the team. You know, Brittany Griffith, 168 kills, Caldwell, 120. So. And they've been strong on the net, so that's where you're going to probably see, if you're going to see a comeback here, where that's going to kind of begin. And we're just tightening down on that fundamental game. We mentioned this is the first ever volleyball webcast by the Cardinal Sports Network. You won't have to wait long for the second. We will again be with you next Wednesday night when the uh, Lady Cardinals take on Paris here at Cardinal Gym. We will start at 6.45 p.m. with pregame programming. 16-4, Apache ladies. Yeah. 
Another point goes to the Apache ladies. Acuna at the service line. Nice job by Caldwell at the net, getting the ball to go off of the Apache lady. Seventeen five. Every point counts when you're trying to come back. Griffith, really good serve. Apache ladies managed to get the ball back. Santos. Griffith at the back line, great save. Of course, the Lady Cardinals play in the Region 14 East Zone. The top four teams will make the regional tournament. The top four teams from the South will make the regional tournament. The regional tournament will be the second weekend in November at Lee College in Baytown with the top two teams advancing to the national tournament in Wyoming around Thanksgiving time. Summer just got turned around there, Betty on that block and just had her hands pointing in the wrong direction and that ball ended up out of bounds. Well, I can see Tasha, she's either making notes or make, she's making out her lineup for the third set. <laughs> oh, there's Caldwell. Now you set her just right and she gets that full force behind that shot. She's very effective as anybody is, but especially uh, Ashlyn has been so far all of last season and this season. Been a very consistent player. Great job of Wilkerson by digging out that hard hit. And this time the Apache ladies split Wilkerson and Griffith and get the point, 21-6. Apache ladies jumped out to a 12-0 lead in this one and haven't been threatened since that point. Patchy ladies have done a great job of taking some of the excitement out of this large crowd. And that serve sails long by Mackey. But you sense with this crowd too, Benny, it's such a great crowd that, boy, if the Lady Cards can just get a little something going, boy, they're going to start this place rocking. Yeah, they'll get into it really, really big time. Good job by Gimsey of digging out the hit. Oh, I thought they were going to get an excuse me point off of that. It was going to sail back over the net, but it didn't. So the Lady Cardinals hang in there. Bongiorno at the service line. That's like money in the bank there when they set her. Well, it's just, she's just perfectly placing her kills. I mean, perfectly placing them. And the Lady Cards are just a little bit out of, out of position. Lewis at the service line for the Apache Ladies. Three points away from wrapping up this uh, second set. Santos with the dink. Nice job by the Lady Cardinals. And a big hit by Nicholas is gonna sell out of bounds off of the Apache Ladies. Another point for the Lady Cardinals. Hannah Jackson checks into the game for the Lady Cardinals. She will now be at the service line. Sales long, another point for the Lady Cardinals. Bongiorno did a great job of digging that shot out.
Lady Cardinals in the net. Point will go to the Apache ladies. We are at 23-10, as you can see on your screen. Brittany Griffith with the kill. You hope, if you're the Lady Cardinals, you hope to find something positive here to end this second set, Jason, to going into that third set. Because, well, you've really got to fight back now. You've got to win three straight if you drop this one. Caldwell with a block. Buongiorno. I think they're going to call the Lady Cardinals in the net. It's going to be set point for the Apache Ladies, 24-11. Serve into the net from Ferguson. Summer Lee and Morgan Wilkerson back in for the Lady Cardinals. Wilkerson at the service line, trying to keep the uh, Lady Cardinals alive. That's going to wrap up the second set for TJC, 25 to 12. Jason, that first set took 25 minutes. This one just took 15. Well, Tyler just executed. I mean, very little went wrong for Tyler. Um, the, the last point that you saw there was kind of how it has been going. You know, Tyler's just getting the right sets. Everything's been pretty clean. They've been finishing it well. Um, and that just hasn't been the case for the Lady Cards tonight. So like you've been mentioning, now they've got a hole to climb out of. Um, on the bright side, you know, you've got an opportunity here to do something really big. Um, and it's going to start with a good start in this third game. Um, and, and, you know, just get off to a solid start. You can't start thinking about, you know, three more games ahead, you know, just little chunks, try to get little chunks back here and there, and definitely got to just get mentally under control and calm down a little bit and just chip away. That's the blueprint. As you hear the Cardinal Regiment in the background and across the way, the Cardinal cheerleaders are really putting on a nice show. A lot of the male cheerleaders have their shirts off with numbers of the Lady Cardinal players painted on their chest. Jason and I did not go that route tonight. I thought about broadcasting with my shirt off, though. <laughs> Just, just let it be known. You would get no air time, I can assure you. <laughs> I would have done it. I just couldn't figure out what number to paint on my chest like those guys did. 747? <laughs> that would be a good place to start. <laughs> have a three-minute break here in between the sets as they take care of the bookkeeping, get the new lineups in the book. Let the players catch their breath. Tasha Spain will try to find any button she knows to push to get the uh, Lady Cardinals to play like they have their previous 14 of the first 15 games anyway. Now, they were just a little fatigued when they played Navarra in the championship game of the NCTC tournament, she said. But that's the only time they hadn't answered the bell this season. You can see the Lady Cardinal players in their team huddle there that are, like Jason said earlier, they're trying to work this out on their own, trying to motivate each other, encourage each other, get each, everybody focused and on the same page. Well, I, like I said, I, I love seeing that from players, Benny. I mean, obviously a coach is there and has a job, but I love seeing the players trying to take charge. And, and, and let's be honest, I mean, unless Tasha gets out there and, and starts trying to hit the ball, I mean, 
there's only so much you can do coaching, and then you kind of leave it out there to your players, and that's at any level. So I, I love the fact that the Lady Cards are out there right now saying, hey, let's take control of this thing. And as someone who covered Tasha when she played high school ball at Eustis, she could get out there and get it done. I think she could still <laughs> probably get it done. Of course, Tasha, after she uh, graduated from Eustis High School, she played two seasons at Navarra College and then went on to start Texas A&M Commerce. Coached at Eustis one season on the junior high level. Then she was head volleyball coach at Athens High School for three years and then took over the Lady Cardinal program in its first season in 2000 and uh, the 2010 season. Hannah Jackson starts the second set, third set I should say. The nice try, Benny. There was there was a sliver of a space there. She just Hannah just missed it. Again, we'll be with you again next Wednesday when the Lady Cardinals take on Paris here at Cardinal Gym. Patsy Ladies at the net now. They jumped out to another quick start here in the third set. They jumped out to a 12-0 start in the second set. Really took the energy out of the uh, Lady Cardinals. Oh, you can see the lady, uh, the Apache ladies just in a groove right now, Jason. They're just sinking on all levels. Yeah, I mean, if, if we're making it sound like the lady cards are just flat, it's really not that. Ty Tyler has come in here to play, and they are playing very well. They absolutely are. Nice job of Santos. Santos. Acuna kept it alive for the Apache ladies. One of the longest rallies of the match so far. Very long rally. Point one by the uh, Apache ladies as the Lady Cardinals were in the net. Ferguson is at the service line for the Apache ladies, 4-0. It's just kind of snowballing tonight. Well, that's what we've seen a lot of so far in the Lady Cardinals. Santos that time with a huge kill for the Lady Cardinals. The intensity is still there, but you can see as, as, as they're coming off the court, as they're on the court, they're still very much into this game intense-wise, so they're going to need to feed off of that. And Embry at the service line. Caldwell was there for the block for the uh, Lady Cardinals. It just didn't work out. Impressive when Tyler gets it going like that. Sometimes you just have to tip your hat to the other team and say, great job. And the Lady Cardinals are going to use a timeout down eight to one. I just imagine, Benny, this is one of those, not trying to be dramatic, but one of those nightmare scenarios where as the players and, and the coaches are sitting there for Trinity Valley and, and kind of probably thinking to themselves, is this really happening? You know, I mean, it's it's really been tough. I mean, really tough and, and beyond anything you'd imagine, really. So 
Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt the Lady Cardinals got shell shocked after Tyler got it rolling. They got out to a 5-1 lead. The Lady Cardinals did it in the first set and thinks it's be going well. Tyler reversed it, and then in that second set, it just went all haywire on them. Yeah. You know, you're not, you're not trying to be that bright lining kind of guy, but it definitely does give you a learning moment. Uh, you know, still, there's a lot of this, this one left here to play, but uh, definitely gives you something to look back on no matter how it comes out and say, hey, that can't happen anymore. You know, you've got to you've got to play in the moment and uh, and move forward because obviously when you get a talented team like Tyler coming in, the number four team in the country, they'll take advantage of those little mistakes and those little fundamental flaws. They absolutely will. The Lady Cardinals after tonight, they have to go back out on the road, Jason. They're headed to Vernon for the Vernon t College uh, tournament Friday and Saturday. Well, Santos with a big hit, but he goes unrewarded. And now the uh, Lady Cardinals pick up the point as Mackey got a little bit turned around there and got out of position. So that works to the Lady Cardinals' advantage. Needing a lot of good to happen in a hurry because they are down 2-0. They've got to win out now against the fourth ranked team in the nation. Great block by Caldwell. Santos tried to finesse a shot as did the Apache ladies. Summer Lee gets it back over for the Lady Cardinals. And there she is again at the net, Morgan Lewis. Sydney Skelton's going to check into the game for the Apache Ladies, a 5'8 freshman of Jonesboro, Arkansas. going to go to the Apache ladies. Looks like that ball touched the net. It did. Maybe hit a Tyler player. Santos with a kill and a point for the Lady Cardinals. Trying to steal momentum back. Trying to stay in alive. Down 2-0. Must win the last three sets against the fourth ranked team in the nation. Santos at the service line. Ferguson with the block and the point for the Apache ladies. Ferguson is a freshman, a 5'8 freshman out of Montgomery, Texas. Little moisture on the floor. 12-3 Apache ladies. We should mention these two teams will meet again in the rematch in Tyler. And I believe that game is on April the, uh, excuse me, October the 8th. Nice block, Summer Lee and Ashley Caldwell. They will play again at Tyler on Wednesday, October the 8th. That game will be uh, broadcast by KCKL 95.9 FM. If you can't pick up that signal, you can also listen to it online at www dot kcklfm.com kcklfm.com on Wednesday, October the 8th at 7 p.m. Tim Howard will call that one for you on KCKL. 14-3 Apache ladies. <laughs> this is where John O was going to come around and save that one. Might as well. Just a lot of little things have gone wrong here tonight, Benny, and it's kind of all added up to what you see right now. Just a tough night. I think that's the fourth serve Tyler's had long tonight. 
Crystal Embry checks back into the game for the uh, Lady Cardinals. By her standards, she's had a quiet night, but then again, there hasn't been a lot of noise on the Lady Cardinals end. Lady Cardinals do a good job of saving that rally. Griffith, the Patchy Ladies with the block, managed to keep the rally alive. Lady Cardinals out of position. Well, there's no doubt the Lady Cardinals have one of the top programs in the conference and in the in the country, even I dare say. No doubt. And that Tasha Spain will get it figured out with her sophomore leadership. They'll be back in the gym tomorrow getting ready for the Vernon tournament and then, of course, play Paris in conference play here next Wednesday night. But all kind of respect goes out to the Apache ladies for this performance tonight. While they haven't caught the Lady Cardinals at their best, they've had a lot to do with that with their play. Almost a three-pointer. We take all three points. <laughs> <laughs> 18 to five. All Apache ladies tonight. Highlight for the Lady Cardinals was a 5-1 start in the first set. And after that, it's been all TJC. One of the few times tonight, Jason, we've seen the Lady Cardinals turn back Watterson at the net. Santos. And this one's going to go off of the Lady Cardinals and sell out of bounds and give the point to the Apache ladies who are leading comfortably now, 19 to 6. Appear to be on the verge of sweeping the Lady Cardinals 3-0. which Jason would be the second straight loss for the Lady Cardinals and it would be the second straight game that they a match that they've been swept 3-0 too. So that's a little bit alarming. You know, I don't know what's coming up with the Mount Vernon tournament, but it'll definitely give them a chance to kind of reset a little bit, kind of get their head right. And you hear the crowd trying to pump up the Lady Cardinals a little bit here, even though it seems inevitable what's about to happen here. Santos at the net gets the ball to go off the Apache ladies and picks up a point for TBCC. You got to keep playing until it's over. It sure looks like the Apache Laders are going to win their eighth straight and run their record to 13 and 1. Jason, you picked up on something this morning in the national poll, which doesn't really mean anything tonight, but the Lady Carters have more wins on the season than anybody ranked in the top 20. Yeah. At, at, at 14. And, and that's not, to borrow your phraseology, really, that's not a fluke either. So, you know, they just, you know, you're not going to roll through your schedule without games like this. Uh, matches like this, excuse me, and you just got to learn from them. That's it. If you don't learn from it, then you wasted it. So they've got to go back and learn from this, and it's going to make them a better team. Point goes to the Apache ladies. And they're on the verge now of winding this up at 3-0. We're 15 minutes into this uh, third set. Boy, Tyler's just had an answer for everything. But Santos is not so quick. We'll hang around just a little bit longer. 
22 to nine. Great job of the Apache ladies at the net, keeping it alive after the block. Hannah Nicholas for the Lady Cardinals. 23 to 10. Lady Cardinals stay alive, 23-11. Alexis Bongiorno at the service line. And the Apache ladies have got it to match point, 24-11. Impressive victory for the Apache ladies, Jason, if they do in fact pull it off like it looks like they're going to. Definitely got a, a, a good club and I promise you there's there's been some plenty of matches where the lady cards have just looked just as impressive. This is just Tyler's night and Lady Cards time is gonna come again. Absolutely. And that's going to wrap it up. 25 to 12 is going to be the score of the final, final set. Third set was played in 17 minutes. The total time of the uh, match, the actual playing time was uh, less than an hour, Jason, 57 minutes. Wow. So. That kind of tells you all you need to know how dominant TJC was tonight. Again, our final score is TJC 25-19 in the first set, 25-12 in the second set, and 25-12 again in the third set to win by a count of 3-0. TJC runs his record on the season 13-1. They are now 2-0 in conference, have won eight straight games. The Lady Cardinals fall to 14-2 on the season. They've lost two straight. They are now 1-1 one one in the conference. They go to Vernon Friday and Saturday. They go back on the road again for tournament action. They'll play four or five games or matches in that tournament. They'll be at home again next Wednesday night to take on Parrish Junior College at 7 p.m. We will have that game for you here on the Cardinal Sports Network. Our pregame programming will begin at around 6.45 p.m. We thank you all for joining us for this, this historic night, our first webcast ever of Lady Cardinal Volleyball. A first time we've ever seen the Lady Cardinals ranked as high as number 12 in the nation. Uh, their highest ranking ever. They're off to their best start in school history. They play the number four team tonight in the nation. It didn't go that well. They lost. So the Lady Cardinals will be back and they'll return and they'll be ready to go. And until next Wednesday night when we join you at 6.45 p.m. for TVCC in Paris Volleyball, on behalf of Jason Larson and the entire Cardinal Sports Network crew, this is Benny Rogers bidding you good night from Leon Spencer Court at Cardinal Gym. <laughs>